Good morning. If this is your first time, I'm Kyle. I am one half of the Wandering Shores. So today I'm taking you to the Shoshone National Forest outside Lander, Wyoming and showing you all the available boondocking here at Forest Road 300. Okay, so a few things I want to mention about this boondocking area. First of all, um, this road right here is Lewis Lake Road, and it leads all the way down to Lander, Wyoming. Um, you need to be advised that there are some serious switchbacks to get up here to this area in Shoshone National Forest. Um, 15 minute or 15 mile an hour turns. Um, I'm going to show you once we go inside and take a look on the Google Maps. I'm going to show you the switchbacks that you're going to have to come up. It's a the distance is probably only about two miles, but there is probably 15 to 20 switchbacks, and some of them are pretty steep. I don't see a lot of Class A's up here. I'll be uh, be able to say that right now i don't see class a's up here probably because of the turning radius but lots of travel trailers truck campers and fifth wheels um have no problem doing it as long as you know how to drive mountains so i'm going to take you in now to forest road 300 and show you kind of the entrance this is a pretty bumpy road initially uh, after the pavement ends but uh, if you just go slow you can make it no problem okay we are about 16 miles outside of Lander in the Shoshone National Forest. This is Lewis Lake Road slash Forest Road 300. You're going to see right about, you know, maybe a quarter mile after you pass Fry Lake, the pavement is going to end and you're going to be heading back to the boondocking area that is here. I don't know if it looks bumpy on the camera because of the stabilization that GoPro uses, but um, it is pretty bumpy right here initially. A little bit of washboarding, but it's not too bad as long as you take your as long as you take your time. Do you enjoy free camping and boondocking across the United States? Well, we've got a lot more for you. If you haven't already checked out thewanderingshores.com and we have an interactive Google map there where you can see all of the spots we've done campsite reviews of as well as things to do in the area. So check us out. Okay, the first boondocking area is gonna be here off to the left. This road is pretty rough to get down to so you might want to just kind of stop right here and go scout it i'll show it to you from the aerial view when we get inside and take a look on the google map okay once you get through the trees and you kind of come out into the clearing you're going to be able to see all the available boondocking um, you'll see the the group of three of us up there on the uh, left hand side that's where we opted to camp you will see over here there is a fifth wheel um, and i'll show you how you access that area and then after we stop I'll show you some of the other area that's off here to the right one thing that's a little deceiving when you're looking at this area on uh, any kind of mapping software is that it is not as flat as it may appear on the actual map all right um, i'm going to take you inside and give you a little more overview of the area there is some more additional boondocking down that way um, but be advised that the road can get kind of rough um, this road actually goes for like 20 miles until it intersects with us 28 it's like almost a 70 mile loop if you include lander into that um, there are several national forest campgrounds down that area um, one near fiddler lake for example we went down and hiked a beautiful trail silas lake trail so if you're looking for some adv outdoor adventure this definitely has it sorry it's a little shaky um, but i'm going to take you inside and show you the google overview talk about some of the resources available in the area please 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 remember leave no trace when you're using these places we do not want them to get shut down uh, we are filming this at the actually september 2nd 2024 so labor day uh, weekend so you know please 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 make sure that you clean up after yourself and if there is trash in the area where you're camping please do your best to pick that up as well but let me take you inside and show you some of the resources available and a little bit more of the camping options here in uh, Forest Road 300 in the Shoshone National Forest. Hey everybody, welcome inside. Uh, we're going to take you through an overview of Google Maps. Again, 
for those who might be checking these videos out for the first time, I have to wear these headphones because it's the only way I can record audio on these map overviews. Um, I've been trying to use my wife's, I call it Britney Spears headset, and I just went through 10 minutes of review and the audio is atrocious. So this will be the second time I'm trying to do it. So we are here at the beginning of September, 2024. This is the state of Wyoming. We're going to focus on this cluster right here, which is outside uh, Lander, Wyoming. Now I'm gonna do this kind of out of order from what I usually do because I'm gonna focus on the resources that are available in the area first, and then I'll get to the boondocking area and it'll make sense a little bit why I did that in that order. So as you zoom in, I've got some stars here in Lander. Now um, let's talk about groceries. Groceries are available in two different options. You've got a Safeway and you've got a Mr. D's food service um, or food center. So you've got groceries available here in Lander. There is a Walmart up in Riverton, which is about 25 to 30 minutes outside of Lander right there. And they also have some additional resources. Now, if you're looking for propane, you're going to want to look here at the Ace Hardware. I'm going to switch over to satellite view and show you that if you are in a class A, oh, I'm sorry, yeah, class A or class C, you will be able to get propane here because you can pull up right next to the propane tanks and fill up. This is, as I mentioned, September of 24, and propane's about $3.40, so it's about average. Now, when it comes to dump and water available, availability in the area, there is a free public dump station put on by the city of Lander, and that's going to be right here against Buena Vista Drive. I'm going to put all of the GPS coordinates for all of these things in the video description, so please check those out. Now, let me go to satellite on here. The dump station is right here under these trees. There is a spigot there. It is non-potable water. I'm in assuming because it is right directly next to the dump station. This is a water pumping station, but you cannot hook a hose up anywhere. It does like 250 gallons at a time for people who come and drive up with huge water tanks. So this isn't really an option. Um, you can, I suggest, reach out to U.S. Forest Service Ranger Station, which is right here. They do have a hose on the front of their building and sometimes I understand that they will allow you to fill up with water if you're just filling up like a five gallon bucket or six gallon bucket something like that you cannot pull an RV in there and fill it up uh, so don't even try that that it, that road right there is extremely small to begin with and they don't want you filling up hundreds of gallons of water from the spigot so do reach out to them uh, to see if they might allow you to get some water there um, there was, according to the website uh, on iOverlander, the city park right here had water spigot, but they have now removed the handle from it. So that is no longer an option as of right now, but you can always double check that. Now, as we're going out to the boondocking area, you're going to see right here, it's US 131. You're going to drive through Sinks Canyon State Park and the state park does not have an entry fee it's just a main highway so you don't have to worry about paying a fee to go to, to the state park this is the let me zoom in here um, there is a state park office right here and while we've been here there has been a public dumpster right there that you can use to throw out your trash so that might be an option as well and i'll put the gps coordinates in the video description as you go a little bit further down 131, let me take you along the river here. You're going to see Hugh Auto Camping Area. This is a boondocking area that is right down next to the river. Um, we opted not to go there because this road leading down is pretty steep. And honestly, there are just rocks. There's very few identifiably designated spots down here. It's kind of a free for all. There is a pit toilet. Uh, but it was extremely busy in years past when we were here, so we opted not to do it. As you go a little bit further down, you're going to see um, this parking lot. This is the indication that you're getting ready to take the switchbacks up the mountain. So let me back out and use this version, and you can see these switchbacks. This is about a 2,000-foot elevation gain on these switchbacks. The speeds are very slow. I think the speed limit along the whole area is 20 miles an hour. 
and down to 15 and five sometimes when you're turning. I have not seen any class A's up here. So I think because of the turning radius of these switchbacks, I would highly encourage you not to bring a class A up here, but I've seen plenty of travel trailers and fifth wheels. Once you get to the top of the mountain, you're gonna see Fry Lake. There is on Campendium a uh, camping option here at Fry Lake. You can see some campers here. In 2022, when Michelle and I were here, this was actually free for I think eight days, but they have now started charging $5 per day. So that is one option and it's a beautiful lake here. The water was pretty low this time of the year, but we were here in July and it was extremely high um, back in 22. Now, I'm gonna bring you down the road just a little bit further. This area right here, let me zoom in. This is where we did our intro. So you can see I parked the truck right here. We did the intro right there, and right about there is where the pavement turns to gravel. So I'm gonna back back out, and I'm gonna take you, let me reorient the map. I'm gonna take you down Forest Road 300, and I showed you several boondocking areas. Let me back out here. I, so we're coming down this way. I showed you several boondocking areas. Uh, the first one I showed you in the intro on the drive-in was this area here. Again, this is very rooted and deep, so you want, may wanna stop here, get out and check it to see if your vehicle can make it. As you come a little bit further, you're going to see, let me turn this so as if you were driving in. Um, maybe I can do that. Oh, there we go. So as you're driving in, we will have parked right here in this spot. There is a boondocking spot up here. This little road right here, or this dirt path, is extremely steep. Um, there is a spot up here, but it's extremely unlevel. If you come up, you can also go along the road right here and park in that boondocking area. Um, and I, uh, you know, seen two, three big fifth wheels up there. This will show you that 335 leads down to this area. There is a creek crossing that's at least knee deep. So do not go down here with your vehicle. Um, it's really meant for like a side-by-side -side or, or a Jeep to drive through to get over there. Um, there was a fifth wheel on the intro right here. And then I am going to pause it here and take you down this road right here. Remember, this is Labor Day weekend 2024, so it's extremely busy. But let me show you the drive-in from this point down. To so there. after you come over this crest, you're going to see there's a split in the road right here. There's quite a bit of boondocking available down here on the right-hand side. This is Labor Day weekend, so it is extremely busy. Um, there's a large boondocking area. I'll take you down there and kind of show it to you. Um, there's probably 10 RVs down there right now or so. A lot of ATV traffic for the weekend, but this is Labor Day weekend. It's the last real camping um, weekend of the season for a lot of folks. So there is an area here on the left in the trees. I'll take you back a little bit further down here and show you the large boondocking area just over this bump. Again, this is pretty smooth. Obviously, they've got a lot of travel trailers and fifth wheels down here, so they had no problem getting traffic down here. But this is a nice flat area. I'm gonna turn left and take you down and show you where this other travel trailer is over here. This is a pretty nice camp spot right there. There are a few more down the road further. I will be showing you those in the Google overview. Okay, we showed you that. Now we're gonna take you back out on Lewis Lake Road. As you go a little bit further down Lewis Lake Road, you're gonna cross Sawmill Creek, this gets pretty narrow in here and extremely bumpy with potholes, but you can, it's passable with, you know, pretty much any rig. Just be aware you might get a few pinstripes on the side of your big fifth wheel or something. Just as soon as you get past that wooded area, you're going to see this boondocking area right here. There's a campsite right here, as well as over here by the trees. You can enter from this direction or from this direction down there. This, this entrance over here is a lot smoother but it's gonna be a hard turn if you're coming from this direction to try to make there. As you continue down Lewis Lake Road, 
you're really not going to have a whole lot of other options other than a few short pull-offs like right there and right there. Um, and then if you go even further, about six miles in, you're going to come to Fiddler's Lake Campground. Uh, this campground is $20 a night if you're interested. It's a U.S. Forest Service campground. But directly across from the lake, there is a small boondocking area right here. I don't know if you can tell. There looks like there's a little camper there. This this area right here has got some boondocking, but it was extremely muddy when we drove by the other day. So this kind of gives you an idea of the Shoshone National Forest. We highly recommend this area as long as you're willing and able and capable of driving this crazy switchbacks. We are camped at about 8,900 feet of elevation. It's end of August, beginning of September. The daytime temps are around mid 60s. It does get down pretty cold at night. We've been down to as low as 33 degrees since we've been here. Um, we've got about one more night before we head out. But yeah, this is a great camping spot. So if you looking for other, if you're looking for other boondocking site reviews, please check out www.thewanderingshores.com where we provide details just like this of all the boondocking spots we've been to as well as things to do in the area. So thanks again. Give us a thumbs up. Think about subscribing and check out thewanderingshores.com. See you next week, everyone.